For some people it has religious significance, for others it has a secular significance and some people participate in this activity as a pastime. I'm talking about bell rigging and we're here at Christ Church on the Isle of Dogs. We're going upstairs now to meet with the house captain Roger Booth to discuss further. Right, tell us about this room Roger. This is where the bells are. Originally when this church was built in about 1850 um, they cast five bells at Whitechapel and then a further three were added in 1907 so all of the bells and the framework date from then. This gives you some of the idea of the size of the bell. This bell which is a, just a bit bigger than a dustbin weighs about um, a third of a tonne and the largest one which is behind me just out of view weighs just over half a tonne so they're not exactly small but as you see a, a sort of even a sort of 10 or 12 year old person can ring the bell quite comfortably because it's balancing upside down and that's the noise that it makes and one of the things that you'll notice about this tower is that we have to be fairly careful these days about the neighbours there's so many houses that are built close to the church towers so you'll see what's happened here is that all of the openings in the tower have been sealed up so all the sound now goes up out through the spire and you'll see that what we've done is put some trap doors right. so we can adjust the volume and then what we also have if you look at some of the um, wheels you'll see there are some photoelectric cells which shine onto a reflective strip and what we do is we've got a computer downstairs so we can actually silence the bell completely using a piece of wood and then we use the computer up downstairs to generate noise so quite a bit of our practice sessions with our new team of ringers have been done using the computer simulator which is quite a clever piece of kit and at the moment it's about the only one of its kind in London. Mike how long have you been bell ringing? About 24 years. 24 years. How often do you bell ring? Um, at least twice a week. Uh, sometimes three and <laughs> more if there's a wedding to ring for on Saturday. On a Saturday as well? Normally yes, yes, yes. But Sunday mornings and Tuesday evenings. On this week for example we're ringing at Camberwell on Friday so that'll be quite a bit of ringing this week. If you notice I've changed sex, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I had to go earlier, Mike. It was, well, it was more, difficult, <laughs> more difficult than I thought it was. Thor. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So originally they started off with three or four bells and once they realised they could control them what they then started doing is ringing changes so they would vary the sequence so they might vary it to one three two four or three one two four or whatever and they started off doing that with the conductor telling one bell to ring after a different one and so on and that system is still practiced today in places like Devon and Cornwall. There's a lot of history surrounding bell ringing and it has been very interesting talking to Roger and Mike. Ringers come from all walks of life and range in age from 7 to 70. Bell ringing is a team activity that stimulates the brain and helps keep participants fit. It also makes a distinct sound. While some people consider bell ringing a contribution to church life, others do it for leisure and pleasure. For a lot of people, it's also an opportunity to make new friends.